Hello and welcome to STEM with Mr N, where I perform different demonstrations and explain the science behind what we're seeing. This week's episode is my birthday episode, so I'm going to be celebrating by showing you how to make a dust explosion. Let's check it out. Two things that people love about birthdays are cake and blowing out candles. This week I'm going to be blowing across this candle using a main ingredient found in cakes which is flour. Flour when ground down finely enough is combustible and also flour along with other carbohydrates can be explosive when the right concentration of flour dust is mixed in the air and there is a spark or flame present. This can actually lead to disastrous explosions in places such as flour mills. And although these are rare in the UK where I am, safety in flour mills is taken very seriously. To do this experiment, I'm going to be using a candle, a candle holder, I've got my safety goggles, flour, a plastic tube and a funnel. I'm going to be doing this experiment outside, so there's also the added risk that the wind could blow the flour dust or flames back in my direction, so I'm going to be wearing safety goggles to protect my eyes, and I'm also making sure that the wind is not blowing towards me, and there's not actually much wind today when I'm doing it, which is why I've chosen today to carry out this experiment. I'm going to start off by pushing the narrow end of my funnel into my plastic tubing so it is ready to go. Then I'm going to set a table up in my garden with the candle in a candlestick holder on top of it and I'm going to use my electrical arc lighter to light this candle. Then I'm going to put a couple of spoonfuls of flour into the end of my funnel. What I want to be doing is blowing through the plastic tubing to blow the flour dust out of the end of the funnel and I want to be blowing it up towards the flame. This can take quite a few attempts to find the right angle and the right strength to blow with to get it right, as you'll notice by the amount of flour dust that is lying around, however I did manage to get it working. You'll notice that as the flower dust is flying past the flame, you can actually hear and see that flower dust combust and there is a flame that rises up through it. I first did this during the day so you could very clearly see the setup that I was using, though it does make it harder to see the flame because it is broad daylight and it is quite a sunny day. However, you were able to see the flame, but I still decided to go out at night to do this experiment again to make it look a lot more stunning. So what is actually happening in this experiment? Well the flour I am using is wheat flour and the main ingredient in wheat flour is starch. Starch is made up of smaller molecules called glucose which have energy in them stored from the sun. When I'm blowing the flour dust across the top of the flame, I'm creating the three parts of what you need for the fire triangle which is what you need to create a fire and those things are heat, fuel and oxygen. In this case the fuel is the starch. Starch is reacting with oxygen and heat in the air to create water and carbon dioxide. This is an exothermic chemical reaction, which means the energy is put out into the surrounding environment. In this experiment, the energy that is being put out from this rapid combustion is heat and light energy, and that is why we have that fireball forming in the dust from the flower. There are other things which could also cause this reaction to happen, such as potato flour or cornstarch, so you can try different things if you are trying this at home, but make sure to be very, very safe and not do this without an adult. I've also taken safety precautions by having a tub of water sitting right next to me, just in case anything goes on fire, but I've also done it where there is nothing immediately flammable in the area. 
Well, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for helping me celebrate my birthday by watching this birthday episode. If you liked this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay up to date on all future content. As always, I would like to take this opportunity to answer any science questions you have about any science topics at all. So feel free to email me at stemwithmrn at outlook.com and I'll get back to you with answers to your questions. You can subscribe to the channel by pushing the button here and I've added links here to the other STEM demo and explanation videos I do, here to my 10 things you should know about series and here to my series on 100 scientists who influenced the world. This has been STEM with Mr N showing you how to make a dust explosion.